Hello everybody, this is Teacher Nick and welcome to my channel It's Science Di Mana Mana In today's episode of Science Di Mana Mana I will show you how to do unit conversion for a few numbers of physical quantities such as mass, length, time and also electric current let's see how we do that The first example, convert 0 0.13 meter to the unit of centimeter. First, you need to understand that numbers given is without the prefix centi, but the final answer wants the centi. It's from no centi to have the centi in the final answer. So in this case, we need to introduce the c into the equation if you look at here the prefix of c centi is 0 0.01 or in the indices form zero. 10 to the power of minus 2 or in the fraction form is 1 over 100 that is centi so the first line you write 0 0.13 meter equal to and then you just carry on with the same number 0 0.13 then you introduce the c by using the concept of fraction c over c okay so now you are adding the c into the equation the c means a centi and keep the meter centi over centimeter so in this case, you're not changing anything. You're just adding in the centi over centi. Centi over centi is actually is just one. So you're not, not altering the original form of the question. You still keep the original form. So this is basically just one. So whatever number multiplied by one is still equal to that number. So now... You carry on the calculation to the next line 0 0.13 you keep the centi the top centi and the meter now you get the you get the unit that you want but the centi below the bar you change into its value okay look at the value it's 0 0.01 0 0.01 one so now you carry on numbers divide by numbers 13 and this number and that number combine you left with the unit centimeter and that is the unit conversion from 0 0.13 meters to the unit of centimeter Second example, convert 18,000 milligram into the unit of kilogram. Now look at the prefix that we have in the original question. It has milli prefix and the final answer wants the kilo prefix. So in this case, we are removing the M removing the milli and adding the kilo the k so let's start first you write the original form of the question 18,000 milli the prefix and the unit gram equal to you carry on the same number 
18000. You still write the milli and the gram. Okay, first step is to eliminate the milli. So what you do is you're now changing the milli into its value form. So where is the value for milli? Go down, here is 0 0.001. So you change the milli from the alphabet form into its value form. 0 0.001. One, that is milli. That is basically just milli. Okay, so I have the numbers, the milli in the value form, and I still keep my unit, the gram, and now I'm introducing the K alphabet. K for the kilo. So same like the previous example, I use the concept of fraction 1 equal to k over k so i add the k over k now we have all the letters that we want the k and the g except for the other k below the bar so now we carry on numbers solve with the numbers equal to 18 now i solve the number but now we have the letters, the K and the G, this is K, this is G, just carry forward, KG, close to the answer now. But we still have another K below the bar. To eliminate this K below the bar, we write it into its value, kilo is 1000. So again, number with number, 18 divided by 1,000 equal 0 0.018. So number and number solve, and you left with the unit kg. That is your final answer. Now the next example, convert 4 meter into the unit of micrometer. So now, without the prefix, we want the answer to be in the unit with the prefix micro. So the same concept, introducing the micro unit by using the concept of Fractions again, 4 meters equal to 4 meters. I keep the gap here to introduce my micro over micro. So remember again, this is basically just 1. Micro over micro is 1. Okay. So now we carry on. 4 we want to keep the top micro. We want to eliminate the micro below the bar. So we keep the top micro, micrometer, the bar. This micro below the bar, we change into its value form, 0 0.00001. Okay, so number with number, get 4 million. Okay, number with number, you get 4 million. And you have the unit you want, micrometer. That is your answer. Now, next example, 24,000 gram to the unit of kilogram, okay? In this case, 
we want to add in the kilo 24,000 gram is equal to 24,000. Keep the gap for the kilo. Introduce the K over K and G. Now I have the K and the G, kilogram. But I still have the kilo below the bar. I want to eliminate that kilo below the bar. So carry on, 24,000 kilogram over this kilo below the bar change to the value 1000 and you can cancel the 0 3 bottom and 3 above the bar and 24 divided by 1 you'll get 24 kilogram that's your answer. So next example is for the value of electric current. See the unit here, the A. A refers to ampere. Ampere is the unit for electric current. Change ampere units to the unit of milliampere. Okay, so we start off 0.006 ampere equal to just carry on the number 0.006. I keep the gap to introduce my milli over milli and the ampere. Remember again, milli over milli is just one. Okay. I'm not changing anything from the original question. Whatever multiply by 1 is just equal to that original number. Okay, now carry on. 0 0.006 milliampere. I bring all of the things above the bar here to the next line. But the milli below the bar, I change it to the value form 0 0.001 now I solve number with number is 6 so number number solve bring the unit down to the next line 6 milliampere that is the answer So those are the few examples of unit conversion that I have explained. I hope all of you can understand the explanation very well. And you can apply the same principle in doing the unit conversion for other sets of questions. And if you have any question, just drop me a comment down and write any question you want. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. I see you get down back. Thank you for watching.